welcome back to another video and if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring the little bell notifications every time I upload and today we are going to be tackling attempting challenging myself to do the timing on the diesel pump what I've got is one of these little kits off eBay it's one of these cheap kits uh, for your VW timing it's yeah you pay for what you get I guess um, but we're going to test it out today. I do have another dial gauge here, which is very good and it does it works really well. Um, but I'm going to test the one that come out with this, and we're going to set the diesel pump. So we got this gauge. Uh, I could use this one if I need to. Um, we've got these little collets and that will screw in to where the timing for the diesel pump. We'll show you that in a minute. And then we got this bit, um, God, these are tight. There's this little metal bar that will go down through to the diesel pump itself, and that will go in. Um, and then this bit will go into there, and we'll tighten it up. And then as that goes up and down, it'll move this needle up and down, and we should be able to set BDC on the time on the diesel pump because the diesel pump to set the timing up although the engine is at TDC the pump needs to be at BDC so that's bottom dead center and that's what we're going to be setting up with this and then once we've got bottom dead center we then need to advance it 5.55 millimeters which is what this gauge will be able to do so I'll be able to accurately set up the timing. Yeah, if you want to get one yourself, it's a Nielsen um, seven piece diesel fuel injection pump, static adjusting time and indicator gauge tools. I think I only paid 11 pounds, 12 pounds maybe, around that price. And that was with delivery. It's all right because you get the timing bit, the, the plate that goes into the end of the camshaft. Um, and then obviously different sizes depending on what size fuel pump you've got and then the little gauge yeah well, that's all I need out of that anyway so that's what I'm interested in happy days also I said last time with the head bolts because the head's ready to go on I've used uh, an old head bolt that I've cleaned up run it through all the, the threads on the, on the actual block so everything's nice and clean I've taken another two old cylinder head bolts cut them down put a nice little slot in it so that we can screw it in to the head uh, into the block sorry so we can screw that into the block and then that will make it all easier we can then put the gasket on and then put the head on but that'll be for when we fit the cylinder head right let's go um time up the diesel pump first thing i'm going to do underneath here we're going to get underneath the engine and this 10 mil bolt here i'm just going to slacken this off a little bit release that little clamp and then I'm going to leave it loose so that once I've found the position the pump needs to be in, I can then tighten that up and lock it off. Next thing I want to do is, um, I've already gone ahead and removed it, but the next thing you want to do is remove that centre bolt in there and remove the copper washer as well. Unfortunately, I didn't have a copper washer on there, along with a list of other things that haven't been refitted to this van. Bit of a nightmare, but yeah. I digress so in there that's where we're going to screw in the little DTI gauge so I've gone ahead fitted the DTI gauge in that little bolt hole in the center there that you saw from that previous angle so that's all in there I'm now rotating the pump until that little notch on the on the pulley on the wheel there's a little notch on there I've shown in previous videos I might put a little picture now but there's a little notch and you want that to line up near the notch at the front of the diesel pump and once that's all lined up you know you're roughly in this right kind of area and then you want to stop this needle on you know bdc the lowest point of the pump i'm going to reset that to zero and that's where we need it to go to 55 so that's 0.55 millimeters and that's how much we need to rotate the diesel pump anti-clockwise and that anti-clockwise is the direction of the engine travel 
there is a bit of tension there trying to rotate it pushing against the springs a bit I guess it's a little bit tight but I'm going to hold it here um, and I think what I'm going to do is get underneath with the socket get a socket on there ready with the ratchet and then see if I can uh, yeah otherwise it's a two man job and it shouldn't need to be a two man job let me see if I can get underneath with the ratchet Right, that's all on there, all ready to go now. So I should be able to rotate this to 55 and then with the other hand, nip it up. I have read on forums that it's better to advance it to 0.57 rather than 0.55. But I'm just gonna go by recommendations on the manuals and that, which is 0.55. So, yeah, that's what I've advanced it to. I know you can't see very well because of reflections and everything else, so I do apologise for that. But you kind of get the principle here, the idea of what's um, what's going on. And that's it. I've nipped it up. It's all tight, all ready, locked in place, ready for the head to go on. Um, and then when the belts go on, it will get released then, and I'll be able to put that little clamp back on underneath. But we'll do that in uh, later videos. We'll cover that. But yeah, that is the diesel pump now set up ready in time with the engine. Happy days. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, stay safe, God bless.